Hi boys and girls, Brucey here with another extreme guitar opinionated piece and I uh, might put the cat amongst the pigeons with this one but I get a lot of requests from students and questions asked about I really want to play songs, how do I play songs, you know, teach me how to play songs um, I practice but I, I really don't know how to play songs well it's very simple, if you want to play songs, practice songs You've seen on my channel there's quite a few videos about how to practice and, and how not to practice and one of the things I find with song playing is you might learn what the chords are. Now that's fine but I want to now go back to practicing loads and loads of licks and the solo and everything like that. That's not going to help you remember or learn songs. You know you might have a rough idea of what the underlying chord suction is but you really need to dig in there and practice. And one of the key ways of learning songs is actually to play along with them. That's a great way because as you're learning, it's reinforcing it and then bits you come to you can't remember. You'll either go back and find out what the chords are or hopefully your ear will start to develop that you can almost pick out the progressions or get a rough idea of where the chord is going to be. And the other thing is practicing songs doesn't need to be just playing the chords because a lot of the songs that guitar players tend to like are quite intricate and there's lots of little parts that are going on it's very rare you know apart from maybe in singer songwriter kind of things or this isn't dissing down various styles but if you listen to lots of soul or R&B uh, even some metal tracks a lot of pop tracks you'll find that guitar parts of there's a lot of guitar parts happening and they're usually very simple and they kind of all add up together to create an overall guitar sound or create the harmony which might be the chord that you're playing generally. So getting in and analysing songs, that's the songs, not the solo, the song itself, breaking it down and trying to, if you can, go on YouTube and find isolated guitar tracks, you might be quite surprised at what the guitar is actually playing. You might be just playing... You might know that the chord is C. Whatever song you're playing, you've just been playing C along with it. And that works. But if you start to get in and you start to learn the song, you realise that maybe one of the guitar parts is going. Um, you learn all these additional parts. And as a byproduct of this, as I've said in another lesson, you start to improve your lead playing because you're learning all these kind of little arpeggio parts. You're learning where notes are on the fretboard and you're learning inverted chord shapes. And, uh, or not just inverted chord shapes, but much smaller chord shapes. And help you with your finger independence, help you with your knowledge of notes, but also help you when you're writing your own songs or maybe coming up with your own songs of finding new little parts that you can add. So again, I'll state, if you want to learn to play songs as a student, get in there and learn songs. Don't just quickly look at the chords, strum along with it, and think that you know, that, you know, know the song. Um, that might get you by in a lot of kind of maybe open mic nights or jam situations but it's not really going to help you develop and you'll easily, well at least me, I'm speaking personally, will forget the song if you've just remembered what the chords are and playing along with it. If you really delve into it you'll start to use your ear to hear the progressions, you'll start to figure out um, what's going on in the track, little parts. <laughs> and develop an ear for chord progressions. The other thing that I'll add as, as a byproduct of this as well is if you don't learn the song, you just learn things like the solos or you spend a lot of time practicing lead parts, you know you, you can learn a whole bunch of licks. Let's just take a bass of it. Um, which in this case is in D minor, in deep and uh, minor pentatonic. 
Um, this is a very basic example, so do excuse me. But if you've learnt that as a lick for a song, um, and you're not completely sure what chords you're playing it over, you've just learnt the solo for the song, let's say, or maybe take an example of the intro of uh, Hotel California. You've learnt that lick, you like that lick, and then you're not completely sure what chords you're playing it over, you won't be able to use it again. And let's say you've suddenly got this, you know, it starts in, in B minor. Let's say you've got a song that's in A minor. But you've not really learnt the underlying harmony. You never not completely sure how to play that lick in another key or even if it works over another key or another chord progression because you might say that the first bit works over the other A minor but where do you go now if you don't know what the chord sequence is and the A minor might go to a C which may not work with the next bit So learning the, the structures of, and the harmonies of the underlying chord progressions is really going to help you. So if you want to learn songs, practice songs. That's all I'm saying. I'd love to hear your opinion on this.